and if you look down here that is actually route two i was on route two in my last video hello everybody in today's video what I'm going to do is show you a few places if you ever find yourself uh, along Route 2 in Illinois um, in the Dixon uh, between Byron and Dixon area I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do that not a lot of people know about for instance you got the visitor center and then you have Ronald Reagan former president Ronald Reagan's childhood home he actually grew up in this house I'm actually here after hours so I can't take you inside but this is the home that's next door and then they also bought this one so they could uh well they bought this one so they could uh show you his home and tell you what it's all about they got a nice little area over here with a statue for him and then they've got like i said they bought this one just so they could give you a tour of or uh all the information on him show you it's like a little museum a lot of fun here just a modest little home his parents grew up here he grew up here if uh, you ever get the uh what is that the uh yearbook from here has him in it and actually spelled his name wrong so this is reagan's old home and they, like i said they got a statue over here of him so now i'm gonna go find somewhere else to take you that way you can see some of the things that you most people don't know about here in illinois that are around that you can uh do if you find yourself out being a tourist so our next stop along our journey uh we went from president ronald reagan's home in dixon illinois we rode a few miles north to a little itty bitty town called grand detour and Grand Detour is a town of like 150 people. You wouldn't think much of it. But a person who is equally as famous as uh, President Reagan is John Deere. And this is the John Deere Historic Site entrance right here. Um, this guy walking here. They're actually closed for the day. So it is a free tour, which is really cool. But you got John Deere's house, and then they have like the barn and the stables and the blacksmith shop and everything here. So if you ever want a fun little visit, and it goes all the way down the block and all the way down over this way, it's a fun little place to visit. And uh, I've done the tour, it's really cool. Um, if you don't know anything about John Deere, he actually got to start doing plows, and then he, the company started making tractors and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this is a, just a beautiful little place. And uh, if you ever want, if you ever get to find yourself this way, it's definitely a place to come check out because it's definitely different and not something you would expect every day. And of course, there's a statue right there and just beautiful grounds and a beautiful place to visit. So we'll see you at our next stop. All right, so my next location is just north of Grand Tour. This is called Castle Rock State Park. And right now, I am on what they call the Overlook. And I am facing my mortal enemy for you guys. Stairs. And there's a whole lot of them. I've already walked up all those. The things that I do for you. So you can see, it's pretty cool. Let me get to the top, which is way up there. And then I'll see you and tell you what's going on in a second. Still have that much to go. So it doesn't look like a lot in the camera, but believe me, it's a lot when you're walking. Whew. If you're an old fat guy who doesn't exercise, I wouldn't recommend doing this. So yeah, you young folks can do it. And people who are in shape, because round is not the shape you want to be in when doing this. I have defeated my mortal enemy and made it to the top. And let me show you why it's worth it. Look at that view. So this is Castle Rock State Park Overlook. South of here is the wetlands and the wildlife viewing area. One day I was driving down the road and everybody's at the wildlife viewing area looking for deer. Well, directly across the street was about 40 of them. <laughs> Nobody saw them. I said, hey, look across the street. They all started taking pictures. It was hilarious. Look, it's right here in the middle. Basically, I'm on top of a really big hill. Over here, you can see the cliff that uh, make this area up. And this is the river that way is north towards uh, Oregon, Byron, Rockford. And then this way is south, Grand Detour, Dixon, Sterling. So this is why it's worth coming up here. Got to avoid all these gnats. So my God, it's a tornado of them. So I'm going to take a rest. 
and I'm going to uh, head back down and then show you the next location. Only a couple more stops. It's not going to be a long video, guys. Sorry about that, but I just want to give you something to look at along the way because this is gorgeous. A lot of the times, I see eagles flying through here, and it's absolutely majestic to watch the eagles fly through here. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, down here, there's a boat ramp. Across the highway is a camp, uh, picnic area. I don't know if there's camping or not, but I know there's a bunch of stuff you can do here. Put your boat in here, go back and forth. As you can see, that boat's having all kinds of fun, but he came from way down there. And I have kayaked from the dam in Oregon all the way down to Grand Detour before, and the river was flooded. We weren't supposed to be on the river because it was closed. And the fun thing about that is uh, we were in kayaks. My brother had never kayaked before. We put him in a kayak and said, figure it out. So there's three of us going down the river. He flipped over about 30 times. Finally, he figured it out. Almost drowned once, so we had to save him. Um, almost sank a kayak, which is almost impossible. So yeah, it was a whole lot of fun that day. We got done with it and it was just, it was well worth the trip. We had a whole lot of fun doing it. But <laughs> yeah, I need to get some more kayaks or a canoe or something. I'd like to come out here and do that again, because that was a lot of fun. But right here, look at this. <clears throat> this is a, I was up there. This is the lower viewing area. I'm not going there because I don't want to go up any more stairs. I got to go down all of those. You know, the little cliff right there. And when you're driving down the road, um, if you watch my last video of uh, driving down Illinois Route 2, you'll see the cliffs on either side of us when we came through this area. And it is gorgeous. I have a little area down here. You can, I think there's a picnic table and a barbecue. So there's a little beach area. You can't swim here, which sucks. But right now it's perfect because uh, it's early spring. So you get all these beautiful little trees that are just starting to bud and flower. And yeah. Now I'm going to tackle the stairs. I'll see you hopefully at the next stop. So I'm back down here at the ground level. I figured I'd show you this real quick. Uh, right here is the Rock River. It comes out of uh, way north of here. I don't remember where. It travels way south of here. There's another small overlook over there, but I'm not going over there because, no, I'm old, fat, and round. And round is not a good shape to be in when you have to hike upstairs in boots. So this is the beach area. Got a barbecue, grill, a mushroom made out of an old tree stump. Beautiful area to relax or just come see. All right, so now we are in Oregon, Illinois. And right behind me is an old piano factory. Uh, it's called Conover Square now, and it is an antique mall and got some shops in there and a restaurant and stuff. But right here is the Oregon Spillway. Nothing special about it. Guy down here catching fish, got something. But uh, it's a nice little area. There's a park across the way. There's a bait and tackle shop where they used to have a boat uh, launch like this one. And this one is actually owned by that one over there. But I don't think you can go on this anymore because I think this is now pub uh, sta uh, city property. But the guy that owned the bait and tackle shop over there won the lottery many years back and bought up all the land over there, all the land over here, and they turned this into Kiwanis Park. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is the uh, beautiful uh, Conover Square Mall. So they got all kinds of stuff. Old piano factory, I've been in there, lots of good stuff. I actually know the guy that owns the antique mall up there, real housing guy. So nothing special here. Uh, we used to live in some apartments down there, right down the way, right on the water. And uh, we had a, older gentleman that lived right next to us and real sweet guy and uh he uh didn't like me riding my motorcycle and it wasn't because he didn't like me he just uh, he lost his brother on a motorcycle so he would flatten my tire so i went through a bunch of <laughs> inner tubes and a bunch of money trying to fix it and then he admitted that he just didn't want me to ride because he didn't want me to die like he lost his brother well he uh found out he was on his third bout of cancer and he uh didn't want to put his daughter through that and he was 90 something years old. He didn't want to go to an old folks home. He just wanted to live his life the way he wanted to. Well, he uh, <clears throat> told me he was gonna take care of it. And I knew exactly what he meant. And every night I would sit outside of my house and I'd wait for him and he'd come out and say, hey, Elmer, how you doing? He goes, oh, hey, hey, how you doing? And then he'd go back inside. Well, one night my daughter and I went camping and uh, we uh, came home because it was we got rained out <laughs> just for a little while and then we ended up going back later that day. Well, that morning after we had left, or before that night after we had left to go camping, um, Elmer came out here and took off his shirt and took off his shoes and he uh, walked out right into there. 
He didn't want to fight cancer. He didn't want to uh, put his life through that. Very beautiful man, a really great guy. It's sad that somebody does that, but that was his choice. So if you know anybody that's going through anything like that, make sure you take care of them and be there for them. You know, suicide's not an option. You know, it's just, you gotta love and support those who are there or friends, family, doesn't matter who they are. Love and support people so they don't have to do that. So let's go to our next stop. Zoom in here real quick for you. All the white, whoops, I lost them. This camera, when it zooms in, all the white pelicans are out here. They fly in every year and they stop right there and this is one of their places where they hang out. That's a lot of big pelicans. Couldn't go too far on my journey. Had to get some gas. Um, yeah, what I was telling you about the guy that owned the property that won the lotto actually bought a restaurant. Had it on this side of the river over here. But uh, the restaurant closed down for whatever reason and then it ended up burning down because he had some renters upstairs and it ended up burning down. So he still does own the property down here. But we're going to go show you our next stop in just a second. Now I'm at Loudoun State Park. I'm no longer on Route 2. Route 2 is actually near me, but I'll show you that in a second. Behind me here, there's actually a camping area and somebody was cooking hot dogs. Oh my goodness, beautiful little park. What Loudoun State Park is famous for is the Blackhawk statue. Um, it's not actually an accurate representation of Blackhawk, but it is actually, you can read about it right here, it is a representation of all the American Indians or Native Americans that used to live in this area because there was a lot of them and if you look down here That is actually route two. I was on route two in my last video. We rode past here But yeah, they show uh, the Black Hawk War is what this is and then you see all the river and this is the Black Hawk statue and he's looking out over towards the south East Southwest I can't even know that's north that way. So yeah, that way's north, that way's south, so southwest. Yeah, okay, anyways. So yeah, that's the Black Hawk statue. This is Loudoun State Park. Um, right over here, there's a river boat. Um, there's a great little restaurant right there and a hotel. They also do banquets and weddings and stuff like that. And you can take a river boat, it's a paddle boat. It goes all the way down the river and back. And uh, I've kayaked all the way up through here before. That's a lot of fun. Over here, can't see it from here and I'm not going to walk down the stairs to the area down here but over here I'm, I can't take you there um, because uh, it's owned by the Presbyterian Church but there's actually a castle down here and it's the Presbyterian it's owned by the Presbyterian Church I believe and they have a camp there and all that stuff but there's actually a castle and you can take tours of it um, right now it's a little late in the evening sun's getting ready to go down soon so I gotta hurry to my last destination and it's something I've actually never been to observe I've been to but never actually participated in anything there and you'll understand what I mean when I get you there see you in a second so my last stop for you I can't actually go in but it's a great spot if you guys ever get in this area and you want to visit and you want something to do you come to the Byron drag strip loud and drag strip Loudoun State Park was just uh, in Oregon Illinois it's just north of Oregon you have to take a you have to come off of route 2 onto a, another little road it's easy to find but uh, we're actually not on route 2 anymore so we're actually on a little side road Byron is right there Byron drag strip so if you ever want to come see some awesome drag races you've probably seen this on TV some few times I know they do it a lot so this is the last place to so come visit so we showed you a few things and uh, hope you liked the video, something different. Cars in the background, sorry about that. So uh, make sure you uh, check out my previous video of riding down Route 2. And then this video, obviously if you've gotten this far, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.